It has sat empty since they stopped manufacturing windshield wiper blades back in 2004. And since then, there have been attempts to revive the Trico building. Well, tonight, construction is once again underway. The Crow Group had been planning to build two hotels at that space, but that was before the pandemic began. Join your sides, Nate Benson is live for us tonight with the latest plan to pump new life into an historic building. Nate, what'd you learn? Yes, yeah, Scott and Mary Alice, if you commute into the city and drive by the Trico building, you will undoubtedly see construction crews now that work is resumed at the half million square foot former factory site. Trico is being transformed into two hotels, residential apartments, offices, and research space that will create over 150 jobs. A lot has changed since Mayor Brown said this at his State of the City address in 2015. There won't be hotels, no research space, but the project lives on as apartments and retail space. The Crow Group took over ownership of the Trico building in 2017 after paying the city of Buffalo $35,000. Originally slated to open at the end of 2018, the project had some delays and finally work began in 2019. Then the pandemic hit in 2020. The banks pulled our loan, which we already had a considerable amount of money into the project, pulled the loan, and because of the hotel component and COVID, so we ended up taking the hotel component out. After that, the site remained dormant until about a month ago, signs of life at the former factory. Krog found a partner in Bruce Wisbaum and converted the project from hotels to apartments. Well, this is a signature project to redevelop, reimagine, the Trico building, the chance to build 242 apartments in the city of Buffalo was very exciting for us. There will also be 240 indoor parking spaces at the site and studio apartments starting at $1,200 a month. For Wisbom, the location serves as a gateway into the city, making the partnership with Krog even more worthwhile. We're close to Shays, we're a theater district, transit system. Um, you're close to the thruway, you're close, you know, you're right on the expressway, the Kensington Expressway to the airport. Even if the cost to complete the project has jumped by tens of millions of dollars. We spent a long time trying to get this financed. The price included increased from around 70 some million to 112 million. As for what's next? Uh, we've taken all the windows out of the building. Now we're putting new windows back in. Uh, we're gonna be putting the roof on to get the thing enclosed for the winter. Back in January, the ECIDA did approve a $3 million tax break for this project. Peter Krogh told me today that they expect this project to be finished by early 2024. Live in downtown Buffalo, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.